And new this morning, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's house targeted by a drone strike this morning. Netanyahu and his wife were not home at the time of the strike, and there are no casualties that have been reported here. The IDF says a drone was launched from Lebanon and that it hit a building, but it was not immediately clear what the building was. The attack comes just days after Israel killed Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar during a military operation in the Gaza Strip. AP reporter John Gambrell joins me now with more on all this. John, you know, what more can you tell us about this drone targeting Netanyahu's home? I mean, thankfully he wasn't there, but what do we know? So this is really showing the danger that Israel has right now. When it comes to these drones, we've seen this in Ukraine with the Russian offensive there, that these drones are small, they fly low to the ground, and they can hit targets basically without warning. That seems is what happened today up in Casario, which is to the northwest of where I am in Jerusalem. It's on the Mediterranean coast. It's a historic city. Um, the drone came in. It apparently hit a target there. The Israelis aren't being clear if it hit Netanyahu's home or not. They've kind of shut down the whole area there. But the fact that it was able to get in so close and strike shows just the danger that's looming ahead. Netanyahu has been targeted in the past by militants. Uh, we had the Houthi rebels of Yemen launch a ballistic missile at Ben Gurion International Airport when Netanyahu was coming back from an international trip. Uh, that missile was shot down. But, you know, with the Israelis being able to kill the leader of Hezbollah as well as the leader of Hamas just a couple days ago in the Gaza Strip, it shows that they're starting to view Netanyahu as a target as well and just sort of how dangerous this, these wars still remain. Well, it sounds like there's still more information being gathered for sure. Uh, we hear that there's more cross-border attacks in both Israel and Lebanon today. So what can you tell us that's happening there? Yeah, this, since the October 7th attack last year, the day after Hezbollah started launching rockets and missiles into Israel as well as drones, what we've seen it today is over 180 projectiles come into northern Israel. Those communities largely are empty, but one attack did kill a 50-year-old man who was hit by shrapnel inside of his car. His wounds ended up uh, leading him to be killed. We've also saw some injuries up there. There were burnt out cars and other damage on the street. Uh, after that and after this attack on Netanyahu's home uh, or targeting Netanyahu's home, we saw the Israelis launch what appears to be a series of airstrikes targeting southern Beirut. That's that area where the Nasrallah, the Hezbollah leader, was killed a couple weeks ago. Also, we've seen some strikes in Becca Valley, one that killed a, a mayor in that area. We've also seen strikes elsewhere in Lebanon, just showing how dangerous situation is, how there's now this second front in this war. It's an entirely different war actually going on in Lebanon after that Israeli ground offensive began several weeks ago. Yeah, and we're also hearing reports that uh, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is back in the Middle East. Uh, are you hearing that as well? Uh, what is the news there? That's we haven't confirmed that yet. Blinken has been pushing right now for more aid to go into Gaza. In the last couple of months, the amount of aid that's gotten in has really dropped off. That's even according to Israeli figures. Uh, 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 Anthony Blinken, as well as Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, had sent a letter to Netanyahu in the last couple of days telling him that more aid needs to get in. But as of right now, it's just unclear how much more aid's getting in. And there seems to be an Israeli plan also to continue to hit the Gaza Strip. Uh, there's a plan to potentially cut off the northern part, force civilians out of that area so they can go sweep through again, look for militants. But as of right now, you know, the, there's uh, still continued fighting in Gaza. We've seen over 50 people killed in the last 24 hours alone, showing that that war also is nowhere near finishing. Wow, just incredible. And we also want to point our viewers to your screen. We are taking a live look at Haifa in Israel right now uh, as we wrap up our conversation with AP reporter John Gambrell. We want to thank you very much for joining us and bringing us up to speed. Appreciate you. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.